Hi, Kitten. Um, I really enjoyed your video, and uh, thank you for the topic of what is courage. Uh, I just wanted to share that what I think is courage is um, any time that I have an idea or a vision in my head, and I tell someone about it, and I'm excited about it, and then people tell me like, oh yeah, that's not going to work, or oh yeah, that, that's not going to, you can't do that, 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 and still in my head, I'm pretty certain that like, no, 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 this is what I'm going to do, this is going to work, this is going to be fabulous, and everyone around me is telling me no, and telling me I can't, and telling me it won't work. Um, I think that's courage, to press ahead and move forward with your idea, even when everyone else is telling you it's not going to work. Um, and, and and you know what, I would like to say in, in the end it always comes out fierce and everyone else is eating crow and you get to say I told you so. But even when it doesn't work out and you're just able to learn from your mistake and do better next time and that just because you failed or just because it didn't work out according to plan, it wasn't a total loss, it wasn't a total failure. You got new facts, new data, new insights, new information and you can do more with that next time. I'm kind of obsessed right now with the guy who invented Tofuti. Tofuti ice cream, Tofuti sour cream, Tofuti cream cheese. Um, at age 50, he was running a popular restaurant and he ran a kosher establishment so he couldn't serve certain things together like animal meat and animal cheese together. I don't know who would want to eat either of those things. But he wanted to find a way to make cheese or dairy substitutes out of tofu and everyone everyone even tofu companies were telling him like oh no we've tried it before it doesn't work don't even bother but this nagging voice in his head kept saying keep trying with this and he didn't give up and at age 50 he ended up starting a whole new company moving out to New Jersey having a huge factory and becoming like a, a a zillionaire. I think he was a zillionaire. Um, and you know, everyone around him told him don't. And if he hadn't just pressed on and carried his, his vision to fruition, the world wouldn't have Tofuti today. And that would definitely make this world a sadder place. So thank you for the video.